yeah. Margot Robbie. Oh, 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 don't you guys know how to knock? Jesus. All right. We've got another busy day today. It is the next day from uh, where we left off Snowplown. We're back up here at the ranch. And uh, at the homestead, I should say. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. We're going to get on with some... Uh, uh, firewood today. Yes, it's getting late in the season. All right. And um, people need to keep warm. And that's our goal today. Um, yes, let me just make sure everything's recording properly. Yes, it is. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, yeah, that's our goal. Let's go over here and check out our crop. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Breathe that in, lads. Yes. I grab you by the face and jam. I grab you by the back of the head and jam your face into a plant. Smell it. <laughs> Smell that freshness. Yes. Oh, my God. Fantastic. All right. We're going to keep on going with it. Now, let's um check how much we got. Oh, we don't need to do that, do we? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! We've got... We're nearly there for a pallet there. All right, which means we're probably at two over here. Very close. Very close indeed. Now, do we have everything we need uh, in terms of water? Have we run out of water here, have we? We have. Shit. Well, let's buy some more water. Thousand liters, uh, two grand. No, now I did put the money in that uh, we were owed. See, we got paid. I mean, we were paid by uh, the county six grand that we said we would, that they said they would. So and that's the goal of the next couple of episodes. As I explained in the last one, all of these you're gonna see uh, for the next cup, for the next two weeks. Uh, are pre-recorded. I'm not going to be able to keep up with um, like suggestions of what we should do and things like that. But I will be on there answering comments and I will try and do a, another live, another video of like my home, my actual homestead. So, but we'll see about that. I don't know. It's just a shit show of... Um, of different footage at the moment. So I don't know if that's going to work or not. But I'll try. I'll try. Oh shit, we better turn the conveyor belt on. Um, right, let's get that going there. Bang! Let's get uh, this up. How do we do it? Um, search and load. No. Start the belt. Right shift and bang. There we go. Let's load this fire truck up, ladies and gentlemen. Now, now it's a bit dark but I think you guys should be able to see this and why is it only splitting in two oh whatever whatever let's keep it going bang what I should do is put the lights on uh, there we go boom so firewood's going to be the main chunk of today's episode as I said so just running backwards and forwards, and I hope it's entertaining for you guys. Uh, I know... Whoa, wrong button. I know things are a little bit slower than normal, but I'll try and keep it as entertaining as I possibly can. Yes. Yes! Whoop, and we're losing logs. Let's get out and tidy that up. Turn the lumberjack mod off. Now, I'm not sure why it's uh, cutting those pieces so massive. Whatever, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. it. Seems to be a sort of golden zone for shit. <laughs> Not for shit, for um the size of the logs that you put in. I want to fill this thing to the bloody brim, so let's actually lift that conveyor belt up a bit. There we go. Fire it up. Now, again, I haven't been able to see... The way this works is if you've guessed what the engine is, I still haven't got to that 
I still haven't been able to read the comments from that episode as of this point. Well, the next one, hopefully I should. So if we've got the name of this and uh, and all that, and if you've guessed what the engine is, um, I haven't seen that as of yet. Okay? So we're a bit behind. As I said, these couple of weeks are going to be a bit weird and funny. So, and that is because of the school holidays and we are leaving... You didn't see in the last episode. We are leaving for the shitty city. For a while. Alright. Uh, get the kids out so they can explore the... The life beyond the farm. Alright. Let's get that in there. Okay. We need more firewood. Let's go. Yes! Fire up the little Kubota. The workhorse. Alright. Get the bloody lights on. Get them on. Eh! Buddy, get them on, would ya? Now, let's lift that up. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at us go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, why aren't you reversing? Thank you. This log right here will do the trick. Yeah, as I was saying, hopefully this is entertaining enough for you guys. It should be. I, I, I get paranoid about that if it's repetitive, you know? Because I know what I'm like, um, uh, watching these things. I can get a bit bored. But the good thing is, you can always skip ahead, alright? If you want to see the results and that, and, you know, I'm fine with it if you do. I don't give a shit about algorithms and fucking YouTube things. Because I don't ever really have any intention of making money on this platform. I don't think it's going to be... It's certainly not something I'm aspiring to. Um... Because I know that, uh, yeah, I've seen so many good YouTubers fall into the family-friendly bullshit, you know? And I don't want to be like that myself. Family-friendly can get fucked, as far as I'm concerned. This this playthrough is for us grown-ups, all right? I don't, um, you swear, you carry on, all right? That's the fucking reality of life. And it... Means that I won't get bloody sponsors and, you know, 20 cents in ad fucking revenue, then I don't give a shit. You know? I don't give a flying fart. So, uh, I'm just, I, you know what I really like? I like reading the comments. I like you fellas, you know, QO, bloody Chrissy or Kingy, uh, Brushy, of course, Miles, Sunny. You know, absolute bloody legends, mate. And that's, you know, this is for you, as far as I'm concerned. All those guys, and all you who come along and comment and ask questions, all right? That's what it's about. That's what I want, you know? I want a community of legends and larrikins, all right? That aren't afraid to have a joke, aren't, you know, soft around the edges. Um, oops, you know? If you can have a joke, have a laugh, you're good with me. Yeah. As I've said earlier, before, the only thing I don't like, really, I don't like racist shit. All right? I just don't like it. It's it's just a really dumb thing. I'm not going to get cranky at you about it if you haven't have a joke and stuff, but it's just not funny, I don't reckon. And I'm not saying that as like some liberal left-wing retard. I'm saying that as a human being. It's really, really fucking stupid to, um, you know, to dislike someone of, because of the colour of their skin. Humans are fucked. All of us. Red, yellow, pink, brown. We're all fucked, alright? So that's why you got to look after your neighbour, no matter what colour he is. And listen, brothers and sisters, we all bleed red, alright? We all fucking bleed red. And that's why I don't like it. Okay. Um, we're all eating a shit sandwich out here, as Bill Burr would say. I just want to reiterate that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Before that little rant went on. Um, otherwise, go for your lives. We're all adults here. And hopefully, you're all adults with this fucking spine. That's what matters to me, anyway. Look at this load, ladies and gentlemen. Now we've got that ranting and raving out of the way. Let's get down and sell our first load of firewood for the day. 
And there's probably going to be a couple. That is the focus of this episode. Let's get the straps out. Um, fuck this off. Here we go. Now, subbies, get in! Get in the goddamn car. Let's get out of here. And yes, again, of course, I want to thank you, Legends and Larrikins, for coming along and joining the ride. It's, it's awesome that you're here. And I'm glad that I can make you laugh and that you're enjoying it. That's what it's all about. And doing some awesome content. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever do, um, like, reviews like the, like the big guys do. I, I, you know, I love the modders and I thank them dearly for the thing, but I don't know if I can do mod reviews and shit like that. Because I don't want to be nasty to anyone who's put the effort in of, to creating something. Um, I'm a creative person myself. I've played in bands. I've, you know, uh, I write books. I'm, you know. And uh, I'm d like, just creative person. You know? And I just can't imagine, you know, being a harsh prick to someone who's put a lot of effort into something and maybe it's their first thing and it hasn't come out real well. Alright. Uh, I want to support you. Alright. I'll cup your testicles in my hand and lift them. Raise you up out of the ashes, boy. <laughs> no homo. And that's an... Oh, we lost a piece. Get out! <laughs> Subbies, go and pick that up. No, I'm just joking. Um, that's another thing, alright? Again, jokes. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Just jokes. I have absolutely nothing against uh, homosexuals either. They're all fine. We all live and love each other, alright? That's just how life should be. Um... So don't take my jokes as a sign of any hatred towards those guys. What I don't like, and I will say openly, is those fucking clowns that are like in your face every day, carrying on like a bunch of twits. You know, and that's probably your biggest detriment is you've got all these absolute clowns out there carrying on and trying to rub it in everyone's face and there's just no need. Alright? There's just no fucking need for it, ladies and gentlemen. Live and let die. As far as I say, yeah? As far as I'm concerned, that's all you gotta do. It's just be kind to each other. Yeah. You gotta be able to take a joke, too. Especially if you're out here in the Australian... Uh, Australian bushland. Right, let's go see uh, Gladys. Dump off some fucking firewood for her. Let's get into... Uh, what are we in? What, oh, shit. What gear are we in? No gear. Third. Oh, we've stopped. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> I can drive a stick, I promise. First. Second. Third. Because, yes, I know I do carry on with some shit. But I, I literally, I hate no one. There's no one out there that I hate. Um, life's too short for hate, brothers and sisters. Let's just get along. And harden the fuck up, for Christ's sakes. Take a joke. Man. God damn. That's what's fucking wrong. It's just too many goddamn pansies. Get too upset over nothing. Don't be upset. Just be kind. And be cool. Don't be a dick is basically, should be just like the rule of life, I reckon. But anyway, I've ranted on enough about that. Um, let's get in here and see old Glado. Hey? Eh? Glado! We're here! <laughs> Look at this international. Man, it's... This is, um... Uh, Diesel Division Customs Mod 2, so... I called it a gear wrench mod in another episode, and I'm sorry about that. It was just a, a little brain fart I had. But yeah, this is a diesel division custom mod. And I've got the sticker on the back window. So we don't bloody forget. Alright, you can't really see it. There it is. 
go and check them out check out their patreon their mods are awesome boom how much should we get holy shit we get it all boom just like that ladies and gentlemen four grand we need bank all right i want to really let's just cut through the ditch um it's time to ramp up production all right i want to get this weed underway and i just took off in fourth gear Let's, uh, calm down a little bit. Wasn't paying attention. Listen to that. Now, I did change the sound. That's what I had to say. I did say it in the other episode. But I changed the sound mod. Uh, the sound of this mod. And, uh, if you've guessed it already, as I was saying, I won't have seen that yet. So I'm sorry, alright? I'm sorry. But I love you. <laughs> Um, and if you have guessed it right, then, uh, congratulations. I have no prizes for you. No candy for you! Maybe one day, you know, if things ever do go really well and I can, um, uh, make something of this, which is fucking unlikely, but I can do that. I'd love to do, um, proper giveaways and shit like that, like the big guys do. I reckon that's super cool, you know? Like, Vice Grip Garage just gave away... Oh, that beautiful, beautiful F-Truck, man. Wow. Some lucky bastard named Scott or something won it. And that's super cool. And, uh... Yeah. Imagine doing that. That'd be so cool to do for people. Um, when I win the lotto, and not if, but when I win the lottery... I want to open up a dog rescue shelter. Yes. That would be awesome. Imagine being able to, like, just pump money into, like, going and rescuing all the dogs. Because let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't like dogs, then you get the fuck... Turn this video off right now and fuck off. And go sit in a corner somewhere and curl into a ball and think about what you've done. Because a dog... You know, even though we've created them from the wolf... A dog... Is the best creature on this planet. Right. A pure heart, loyal, loving animal. And we should all look up to them and look after them. Because there's some fucking assholes out there that treat them like shit. I can tell you right now. If I see you, boy, I'll spank your bottom. Alright. Let's keep going. Man, I'm ranty today. What's going on? I must be cranky about something. I think I'm crazy. I think I'm just running out of shit to talk about. <laughs> it's quite hard to like hit go and record and and just start talking, you know. Look at this rig. Man, I need to get another thumbnail too. We'll do that in a minute. Oh, we left the motor running too. It's a waste of diesel. Speaking of which, did the fuel gauge come back? No, it didn't. I'm not sure what's wrong with that. But we can see it in here. Uh, oh, no, it's empty. <laughs> so the fuel gauge isn't working on this old rig. So maybe, uh... Maybe Kingy. Kingy, uh, let us your, uh... Let us know if you can get a part for that... Uh, fuel gauge for us. That'd be great, mate. Jeez. Back it up, back, 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 back it up, back. Are we in line? Yep, that'll do. We in line? Yep. Turn the motor off. Actually, kill the lights because of the battery. And yeah, I want to, again, thank you for all the kind comments you guys give me. It's awesome. Um, I'm not used to people being nice to me. Like, uh, people are nice to me, but it's just not really, uh, compliments. Okay. It's hard to take a compliment sometimes. I don't know what it is, it just is. But I appreciate it nonetheless, yes. 
Let me rub your leg. Touch your knee. Feel that? It's not sexual assault. All right. <laughs> Grab the chainsaw. Bang! Lift! Oh! Look at this mighty little Kubota. Man. I'd love one of these in real life. It would make my life so much easier. Alright. Let's get on up. But these things are goddamn expensive, man. These Kubotas. I was actually looking at... Uh, not that I had the money for it. But the TYM tractor. Uh, you guys seen those? It's a Korean thing. Now normally, you know... I steer clear of Korean stuff, but it actually, especially the hydraulics on it, there's a lot of good reviews about those TYMs. The T25, little 25 horsepower thing. Um, obviously, this is a bit bigger. It's a 39 horsepower, but uh, yeah, there's been some good reviews on it. How do you guys feel about those Korean tractors? Are they garbage or are they awesome? You let me know down there in the comments. Yes! Um, I'll tell you what is absolute junk. And I don't know if you guys have it over in the States. But us Aussies, we have a Chinese brand here called Agrison. And trust me, I've spent time in these tractors. They are the biggest pieces of junk you have ever witnessed in your life. And I mean that. Right? Whoa, wrong button. I just pressed the... Uh, uh, Windows key. Hang on. And we're back. Um, yeah, I'm, and I mean it. Biggest pieces of junk you've ever seen. Like, it's almost unbelievable how they can pass an inspection. Um, the They come with b rusty bolts. They come with, like, the, the most rough-cut um, interior. I mean, like, you know, like the plastics and stuff on the interior? It literally looks like they've been um, hacked with, uh, like, cut out with just, like, a hand knife or something, like, really quick and dodgy. They're, oh, they're such an awful piece of gear. And, like, they're cheap, but it's just honestly not worth it. We had one, it only had 200 hours. All right, this fellow bought. I was doing some work for him. He had an Agrison. It was a 60 horsepower thing. It blew a piston in 200 hours, and it was stuffed. Now, the company that um, was selling them, the dealership, did look after the bloke and fixed it up for free, or basically for free. It still cost him in transport. But yeah, my advice, don't go anywhere near Agrison. Absolute junk. And I mean that. Um, junk tractors. <clears throat> and honestly, you know, I know you, uh, and my good mate Bushman, he loves them too. But the John Deere's, the modern John Deere's can get fucked, alright? They're, that company is scamming you Americans so hard. And thank fuck for that guy who won that legal battle to allow, um, you guys to repair it yourselves and stuff. Because it's bullshit, man how they were trying to not allow farmers to fix their own machines. That's that's scary shit. And John Deere can suck my ass for that. I'll never buy a John Deere for that one reason. Even though they lost the court case, you can get fucked. Um, and I know they're all turning into pricks like that, but not cool. Now, what's going on here? <laughs> Man, I'm on fire with the rants today. What's going on? Need to calm down, have a coffee, and chill out. Oh, there we go. We go. We go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa! Hang on! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my God. All right. Subbies, everyone climb onto the back of the Kubota. We need your combined weight. Fat bastards. All right. Get out of here. Oh, bugger. Okay, we're going to need to rethink this. It's alright. 
That's fine. No dramas at all. Alright. And I forgot to pull it out of the cab. Out of the, uh... Toolbox, I should say. Gotta remember the role play elements. Gotta remember. It's hard when you're rushing and you're focusing on, uh... Making money. To remember... I'm trying to do this hardcore role play. Okay. Just like in the bedroom with the missus. And what I should have done, too, I'm an idiot, is I should have kept that big Ford and cleared the snow here before I gave it back. But I wasn't thinking, alright? A lot on the old Bogan's mind at the moment. But, uh... Yeah. We'll get there, we'll get there. Let's drop this in. Lined up. Pretty close. Drop. Back up. Boom! Look at that! <laughs> we have got this nailed, ladies and gentlemen. Nailed! Alright. Let's jam as much timber as we can into this. Now, I'm going to try... Uh, where's the hut? Here we go. Uh... What are we on? Let's try six. Is it even going to cut it? Oh. Oh, the engine did turn off. There you go. Yeah, see, it's too big, I think. To be cutting into six. Oh, wait! I know what I'm doing wrong. There we go. That will probably help. Man, I'm stupid. You're probably yelling at your screen the whole time, like... You idiot! There we go, that's better! Hey! Whoa, and I pressed the Windows key again. God damn, I'm stupid. My god. Alright. There we go, that's much better. Cut. Split. Now, what does it look like over here? Shit! <laughs> oh man! We have loaded that up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> stop. Let's get to work. Ugh. Well, that was a fail, but they're much better looking pieces of wood. I worked out. I worked it out. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. No one ever accused me of being smart. Hey, bushman. Hey, brushy. Hey. Um. Yes. But yes, just a reminder, and I've said it, but um, the comments you've left, I've probably written to by the time um, you were seeing these episodes. But yeah, if you've got suggestions and stuff, they I won't be able to implement them because I'm just plowing through uh, trying to get some content for you guys because I don't want to leave you without for two weeks. Because that's just not cool. Right. Need to make... Because, you know, you guys have said such nice comments to me. Um, how you... Just, you know... Kingy watches it before he gets ready for work. and You know... Um, Brushy and Hugo are always having a good chat with me. I'd, I don't want to leave you guys without. Right. The good fellas... All of his. And I appreciate the kind words. I was saying, I'm not used to actually getting compliments. <laughs> I think that might be it. Alright, everyone, hop in! <laughs> Let's go make some goddamn money. Beautiful. And yeah. I say it before, I said once again, that's what this episode's gonna be. Just loading. Taken firewood to the businesses. Yes. Now we're off to see. Uh, hmm. God. We have. Oh, that's right. The servo up the top. Okay. I think he's over near the wood turner's place, so. That's where we're going. Let's put the cab lights on. Oh, there's no cab lights on this, is there? No. Alright. Um, 
long. Oh, shit. We're giving the International a real go on today, so let's... Let's get a thumbnail. Let's do it out here on the cliff, actually. I like doing the thumbnails. Um, so you guys can see. Um, I haven't done everyone, because sometimes you notice, like, I've, I've fucked something up, like there's a tree in the way, or there's just something not right, so I've had to go in and redo them, but... Um, I try as often as I can to do it uh, live, alright? Try and get it done live, yes. Alright. Get around, get around. Might take it in the sawmill, actually. Might be a good one. Good place for a thumbnail. Whoa, hang on! Oh, man. Are you guys still on? Jeez, that was a rough bump. I wish I could open the doors in this one, like, um, in the Ford. Actually, I never tried these buttons. Nah. Nah. That's right. Alright. Oh shit. Man, it's bumpy. Alright. Can we do a thumbnail here? Will it look good? What do you reckon? With the lights on? Yeah, that looks better. How's that? Bang! We yeah, from this side. Ooh, that could be cool. Bang! See how that goes. Alright, let's get on with it. this way this time <laughs> and we're on the road look at my shitty snow plowing job I did last episode <laughs> I got six grand for that they're probably not gonna want to hire us again after that honestly let's go first person for a bit I can touch your leg here um yeah look at this view man this makes me, you know, this game always makes me want to go outside and uh, hop in the rig and go for a drive. I do play um, American Truck Simulator too. Maybe I should do another video on that. I used to um, stream that live. You know, but um, I stopped doing that live stream stuff on Twitch because I fucking hate Twitch. Yeah. I could, and it was weird because you can have up to like one video I had uh, one live stream I was doing sorry <clears throat> I had 80 people watching and not one person typed a thing hey it was 80 people watching and yeah prick getting in come on move it yeah! imagine seeing this thing coming up your ass like this move Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Anyway. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Man, I'm really, uh, on with the reds today. Beautiful. Imagine owning this thing. Damn. Damn. You Americans, I say this all the time, but you're so lucky with your vehicles. Your uh, trucks, your American trucks are, especially your Fords, man. I love the American Fords. They're so sexy. But damn. Can I go past it? I think I went past it. Here's the shingle guy's place. Nope, it's up here. Here we go. 
Is it? No, I did go past. Oh. It's alright, we'll chuck a U turn in here. Ugh. Let's get down in here. Oh. Now, I don't know about these shifters. I would never have one of these shifters in a truck. So, have a look at it down there. Alright. I hate that rip. I mean, I understand it's cool, like, for the mod. Let's have a look at it. Actually. We can see it. With that handle grip like that. Man, I hate how it looks. That's just me, though. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but... I would never do that. I like... You know, I'd have a big fucking skull knob or something cheesy like that. That's more my taste. With fucking red rubies in the eyes or something. Yes, that's how cheesy I am, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Got a bit of a detour. Now, we haven't ever been to seeing this bloke yet in there. But I hear he's a good fella. And am I even on the right road, by the way? <laughs> Maybe I'm on the wrong road. We're getting lost already! My god. I'll have to pull over here and check out... Um... Alright, grab your phone, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, have a look. Whoops, wrong button. Where are we? Um... Yeah, we're on the wrong road. We need to go back and go do some off-roading. You reckon we... <laughs> it's going to be risky. But I reckon we can do it. It's not... Pull out in front of a car if we can help it. Right. We're going off-roading, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on! Whoa! Foot flat to the floor. Now, there's a turn off here somewhere that goes up into the mountains. Just here. Actually, we might be able to get a good thumbnail up here, too. Oh, yeah, it's deep. Oh, shit! Hang on! Oh! It's going to be a bumpy ride. Let's go down again. We may not be able to do this. Better just take it easy. You know? Take it easy. This will be a real test for the uh, international. See how it goes cutting trails with a full load of logs. We're going into the mountains, yes. Whoa, she's bumpy. Whoa! And we've never cut this trail before, so it's going to be interesting. Whoa, shit! Just banging now skulls on the top of the roof. Alright. Let's keep going. Higher into the hills, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I can't see where the road is, but I'm going to guess... Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. You can sort of tell by the bushes. What's the weather forecast? No snow ahead, just cloudy. Look at this mighty rig pull! Yes! <laughs> um, okay, it looks like the road splits. Let's have a look. Um, oh no, it doesn't. Curves around. We got a long way to go. Jeez. Okay. All right, get up there. Oh shit! I gotta adjust me nuts. Me nuts just got pinched by me boxes. Oh man. Not even joking, that hurt. Oh. My testicle! God damn. Alright, let's get up here. Come on. You can do it, old girl. You can do it. 
hope I'm going the right way. You sure am. Do a view like that so you guys can see it work. Yes. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That could be a cool shot too. Let's see if we can get the sun in it. Whoa, did we just go off the road? I think we did. Where am I? I'm lost. That's here. Did we get the sun? Maybe. Not really. Now, we're we still recording. Yes, we are. Holy shit, it's been 40 minutes already. Man, the time flies. Wow. God damn. And that's good, though. I'm, I'm trying to get these episodes out, as I was saying. I don't want to leave you guys in the dark for two weeks, so... Again, you will be seeing this after the fact, so... Um, we'll be out and about. But I am going to do my best effort to write to all the comments. And, uh, just bear with me if, it, if I'm a bit late replying. I could be somewhere where there's no reception or uh, or just busy with the family because yeah it's school holidays so the kids have got a break from school for two weeks go on adventuring like Bilbo Baggins leaving his front door I'm going on an adventure little cunt fuck I'd kick that guy in the face eh we're going on an adventure fucking Gandalf calm down you know Fucking orcs and shit. There's a big dark lord. And here you are skimming around like a bloody twit. Um, I took a wrong turn. Speaking of twits, I have gone the wrong way. Hmm. Hmm. Let's really test the international. Let's see if we can connect these two sperm here. We're going to cut a trail clean through here. And do some real man off-roading. Yes. I was too busy talking about kicking Bilbo Baggins' ass. And, um, and don't even get me started on that fucking Legolas, alright? Fucking Legolas. In those movies, man, what a fucking... What a cock that guy was, man. Um, let's cut the trail, yes! Here we go! Keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen, for the other sperm head. The clearing, I mean. Whoa, she's rough up here. She's rough. That's how we like it, ladies and gentlemen. We like it rough. We ain't no pansies. Alright, where's the road? <laughs> how did I go from there and just immediately... <laughs> <laughs> I oh, just immediately hooked fucking south. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and because I don't edit videos, I uh, all this is like my stupidity is real. You know, there's no hiding my stupidity. Not like other YouTubers that would cut out their mistakes. I embrace them! I embrace the mistakes now. Are we even on the right track? Yes, we are. So it should be just over this. I've got... I have serious doubts in my navigational... <laughs> navigational abilities, alright? Here we go! Alright. Um, so I've got to sort of cut and hook around, okay? Just try and stay... On this road. Now you can't blame me for getting lost, alright? Look at the... Oh, look at the fucking road. Can't see it, alright? Everything's fucking covered in white. Everything's covered in Charlie Sheen's bloody... Um... Magic dust. You know? That's a song I could sing to you. Um... Uh... Because I didn't sing in the last episode because... Getting a bit sick. And, uh, well, I thought I was, but, yeah, I'm just, I am just had a bit of a sniffle, alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I'm 
just having a mental blank on how the Black Sabbath Snowblind song goes now. Um, shit, I can't believe I'm having a blank on Snowblind. Thinking of fairies wear boots, you know. Yeah, fairies wear boots, say you gotta believe me. Hey, I saw it, I saw it, and I tell you no lie. Yeah, hey, fairies wear boots, say you gotta believe me. I saw it, I saw it with my own two eyes. Oh, right now! <laughs> meow, meow. Have I got lost again? No, we gotta hook around. Oh, meow, 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 meow. Now, I've probably just lost all the viewers after that shameful Ozzy Osbourne attempt. Um, but that's just the way it goes, you know. A man's gotta sing. You know? Whether you're in the car alone and you just put on your favourite tunes and just scream. Who cares if it sounds like fucking two cats fucking in a waste bin. You know, just give it your all. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of getting judged by people, alright? People can get fucked. Alright, does your dog judge you? You look at, you turn around and look at your dog. In fact, stop right now watching this. Alright? Here, chat. Get the, chat. Subbies, get the fuck out of the car and go and look at your dog in the eyes for a second and tell me is that thing judging you? Alright? Does it judge you? No! It doesn't. Right, it's a damn good animal. Way better than any fucking human being. Go look him in the eyes and that thing loves you for you. Right. No, I'm not going to sing that song. <laughs> she likes me for me. Right, that's, that's all I'm doing. Shit song. Um. But yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm rabbiting on about. Right, just bear with me. Bear with me. It's been a, it's been a weird day, alright? <laughs> I'm driving a fucking international travelette heavily overloaded with firewood through the woods. Oh shit, bouncing up and down. My spine's fucked. Right. Now where do we go here? Am I even on the... I've, I've fucking taken a wrong turn, haven't I? <laughs> Oh, man. Right, we're just going. We're cutting through the woods. <laughs> oh. It's one of those days, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of those days, and I hope that you can laugh at me. You know? Point at the screen and just laugh. What a dickhead. What a dickhead. Yeah. And now, like I said in the last episode, I haven't gone and watched Mr. Inbetween. Go and watch that show now. It's on binge I don't know it probably you Americans have got oh you know um, I shall, I'll say you North Americans you got so much choice when it comes to shit and where to watch it uh, you'll have no problem finding it but here in Australia you're a fellow Aussie uh, it's on binge go watch it man it's you'll laugh the dialogue is some of the best dialogue in any show ever it's the most Australian shit you've ever seen. And I'll give you a hint to um, our North American brothers and sisters. If you don't know what a dimmy is, go and educate yourself. Go and watch the bloody show and have a laugh. It's a good show. Uh, oh, okay. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, finally. Go and deliver it. Yeah. Um. Let's get out. Let them know we're here. Ugh. Hi. Hi. We're here, all right? Yeah, that's right. Fucking. Yeah, we're gonna drop off this bloody firewood, all right? Let's go. Listen to that. Idle. Man, Greta is shitting her pants right now. Knowing that this thing exists. Man. Just polluting the atmosphere. Buckets of soot. Oh. 
Fucking gets me hard. Oh, thinking of that soot just flying into the air, cheeching. Man. Cool. What do we get? 4,500. 15 grand, ladies and gentlemen. We could get another, uh, another greenhouse if we wanted to, right? What the fuck's going on here? There we go. We can get another greenhouse if we wanted to right now, but we're not going to. We are going to keep on going. Uh, <clears throat> what, what's the time? How are we going for time? Oh, we'll do another load. We'll do another load. We're at 50 minutes. Uh, we got another load in us, ladies and gentlemen. We can do it. And I know how that sounded. And, you know, nothing sus, all right? Let's really open this old girl up. Now, if you haven't guessed the engine yet, what do you reckon it is? Huh? Uh, the, um, the thing is, uh, the the engine sound in this mod was actually pretty good. I liked it. Uh, it sounded like a cat, but um, which is what the mod engine is supposed to be. It's supposed to be uh, oh, which cat was it off the top of my head? I can't remember. Is it a s um, oh, I can tell you actually. Let's have a look for a minute. Give this mod some love. Diesel Division Customs, man. Best car mods. In my opinion. Um, where is it? Here. Here we go. Oh, a 3126. Okay. So, yeah, this is a great mod. It's paid mod, but it's worth it, as you can see. An awesome mod. There's a lot. Actually, let's have an actual look at it for you guys. <clears throat> Maybe you can't afford to buy it. So, here's a look at it for you. You can do lots of different options. Lots of beds, flat beds. There's, uh, you know, you want a bit more horsepower. Wheel brands, lots of good wheel choices um, for both. So you got, like, say, this, and then you can go through. That's your dually setups. All right. Then you got your stock setups. You can make a mud bogger if you want. Fuck yeah. Look at that thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, lots of... Oh, now, let me... Listen. If you have more rim than rubber, go fucking sit in the corner and think about what you've done. All right? Those look shit. If you... Please tell me you don't have wheels like that on your truck. I mean, that... Oh, it makes... It actually hurts me. All right? You need to have more rubber than rim. Like that. Look at that. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Look at those. All right. So lots of choices. Oh, fuck. That's... Look at that. Ugh. Yuck. It ruins it. Ugh. I can't even get behind that. You're just wrong. All right. If you have that, you're just wrong. Sorry. Sorry. All right. And here's the thing. There's, they've got a rusty paint thing, which is what we're using. Yeah, it's cool as. Um, I'm sure you've seen it, but different bums. You can really set this up to be a mad off-roading rig, you know, uh, if you wanted to. But yeah, there's lots of different options. I'm not going to go through them all, but uh, yeah, go and check it out yourself. Go on, uh, uh, if you've got a, you know, spare 50 bucks or whatever it is, it's 50 bucks Australian. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what it is for you Americans. It'd be way cheaper. Um, I mean, not cheaper, but, you know, it won't be 50 bucks. It might be 20 or whatever for you guys. But um, the currency exchange. Yeah, cool mod. Go check it. Go buy it if you can. I understand, too. Um, I really honestly do. Um, people who 
can't buy the mods. Um, and I understand the contention with it as well. But in my mind, you know, these guys are making these awesome things and if they want to charge for it, that's their prerogative. That's their right to do so. You don't have to buy it. And you can get upset about not having access to it. Oh, and that's another thing too. While we're... Here's another bit of a rant for you. If you're a fucking cocksucker who leaks mods... Oh, buddy. Go lie down, hey. Go lie down and don't get back up. Absolute piece of shit. Don't steal people's things. I hate thieves. If you're a thief, fuck off. Right? And I'm... As I'm saying fuck off, I'm like... I'm, I've got my thumb up and I'm jerking my arm over my shoulder. Like, fuck off. Alright? <laughs> you can get fucked. Don't leak mods, you grubs. It's their creation at the end of the day. And these guys pay money to get... Like, modders buy models, you got to understand. They spend their own money to make it, and not to mention their time. So, but I can understand why people are upset, you know, and want things, and perhaps they can't afford it. But at the end of the day, it's like a piece of art. Uh, and what they are, and what the modders ask for, is not that much, considering the time that they spend on it. Okay. I think the rooster's bloody crowing out the side of the window, so I apologise if it's spilling through. But anyway, this is worth it. Go and get, and you don't just get this one mod with it, by the way. You get like fucking 15 mods. So, yeah, it's well worth the price they charge, in my mind anyway. Oh, shit! Um, yeah, that's just in my mind anyway. And you're allowed to disagree with me. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of liberty, my friends. We can all say whatever the hell we want. For now. I know in Eng England's lost, boys. England's gone. Alright? Forget England. They founded us both. Alright? But, uh, they're gone. There's no hope left for them. I don't know what their future holds, but it's nothing good. Alright? When you send them people to jail for the things they say, that's fucked. Uh, and Australia's probably not far behind, but hopefully you Americans can hold out. Uh, and with Trudeau, I think Canada's fucked too. I'm not sure exactly the extent of how bad it is there. Now, what am I doing? I'm a <laughs> I've come into town. Um, yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> we got a bit of air there. But yes. Going to jail, putting people in jail for the things they say is some... is some Xi Jinping shit, right? Sad to see it. Sad to see it. Yes. I'm sorry this, this episode has been a bit of a rant fest. I don't know what's wrong with me today. It's one of those bloody days. I've got to try and remember to keep a decent camera angle for you guys too. I know it's harder for me to drive and shit, but it's better for you guys to watch, right? another load. Oh shit. There we go. We're on, we're on. Yeah, as you can see, this thing's a fucking monster. <laughs> it really is.
And it looks badass too. Yeah, I love the, um, I'm grateful that they added it. See these, the old original hubcaps on the wheels? That's awesome. I love those old stock wheels. The old steel stock wheels with a hubcap like that, you know? Hopefully that rooster's not spilling through too hard and annoying you guys. Oh, what do we got here? Man overboard. God damn, let's leave no man behind. Whoa, shit. Just pressed, accidentally pressed a button on the steering wheel and went into first person. That's all right. But yeah, it's a whole different game, like, when you're driving like this, and I've got the steering wheel exactly in line with where it is, you know. Man, it's awesome. So awesome. Really makes me want to go out and start driving. Alright. Reverse! Forward! <clears throat> we'll get this last load done now. You uh, fellas down the road there are probably due for another another load of firewood, but uh, yeah, we'll send it over to uh, who did we do la first? We did Chrissy's place. I guess we'll go to uh, Kingy's place. Sorry. Go to Kingy's place, drop off another load of wood. Now, again, if you've written comments asking for another load, um, I probably haven't read it yet, so... It will come! <laughs> just... Oh, shit, I left the Kubota on too, I just realised. It will come. It's just going to take me a while before I see the suggestions to the recording time. And I'll let you know when we're back on schedule, for real. But, yeah... Two weeks. Two weeks, and I apologise for it. But you will not go without. You will not go without the videos, anyway. Oh, I've got to turn the heart on, because I keep missing. It's like trying to piss into the toilet bowl. I just keep missing. It goes all up the walls. It goes everywhere but where you want it to. That's the dangers of having a fire hose for a morn. No? If the... If the... <laughs> <laughs> if the piss pressure is too high, it'll just flails around, right? Unless you hang on tight. Ugh. Ugh. Whoa, this one got locked up in the wheel. Ugh. Bang. We'll leave the uh, diesel running. Um, let's just... Uh, Finish cutting this one. Whoops, wrong button. Um, oh, wrong button. There we go. Bang. One more log. Now, I believe we have one. Uh, or did we pick it up? Oh, no, it's there. It's there. <laughs> Can't believe I left the Kubota running that whole time. So we'll drop this down to Kingy's place and uh, go from there. Now again, if you're like, nah, fuck, don't call me that nickname. I'm sorry. <laughs> In the comments. Uh, yeah. But as I said in the last one, in the, here in Australia, it's just weird calling people by their first names, right? Like, even my old boss, he was a Greek guy named George. I, I never call him George. I call him Jorge. <laughs> that was my boss you know <laughs> so it's just how we do it down here
Oh, there we go. Back it up. Back it up. Beautiful skid log grapple. Bang. Whoop, shut it off this time. Goddamn idiot. Man. What are you doing out here? Come on. Get in. What about you? You too. Ugh. Sorry about the shitty timber. Kingy. Oh, but it's just the way the lot the splitter cuts it. What's this piece doing in here? Hm. Right, let's do it. Um Boom. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, I wish I had... Whoops. Pressed that too early. <laughs> That's rubbish. Man, I wish I had one of these in real life, eh? Uh-oh. Have I stuffed this up completely? No, nah, there we go. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, get up there. Get up. And they're falling off. Okay. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Imagine paying three grand for this load of shit timber. <laughs> I don't care. It, in the terms of... Look. Look at it like multiple loads okay especially into the like the supermarkets and stuff not just one load right they're multiple loads just gotta we're just imagining it like that huh now firewood um at the servos would be a killer business to get into and in real life and my neighbours do it um they deliver their firewood though um, because holy shit, the servos, they charge through the roof for a bag of firewood. Like, it is crazy. It's aimed at, like, campers and stuff, but holy crap, man, you pay a premium for a bag of shit. Like, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't wish that some of that timber on my worst enemy. Um... Well, I don't have any enemies, but... <clears throat> I wouldn't wish it on uh, I don't know I just don't wish it on anyone it's just shit and it's extremely expensive <laughs> whoops all fell off over here right. yeah, a bit of load in here I hope you guys don't mind <laughs> Yeah. Man, that is shit timber. All right, here this piece is all right. I said, yeah, there. Fucking asshole. Get My mouse wheel is really sensitive. Like my nipples. My erect nipples, they're sensitive too. Alright, get in there. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. Strap it up, subbies. Good work. Let's go. Last run for the day. Another episode comes to an end. Now, the next episode is probably just going to be something similar to making more firewood, doing more runs. Um, I'm going to try and break it up somehow, though. Because otherwise it will get super boring for you guys. That's the last thing I want. It's got to be entertaining. It's got to keep you supple and moist. Yes, and wanting more. Because I've got more coming. 
I've got some big plans in the works, but actually getting it done and getting it done right is going to be a bit of a bit of a challenge. And I've hinted at it in previous episodes. It hasn't come to fruition yet, but uh, a return to the swamp. That's my goal for something a bit different and fun. Hopefully hilarious. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There's something I've left back there that I really want to bring home. Alright, let's get this down to Kingy's place. Yes, let me know too. Uh, not that I'll be able to do anything about it uh, for a little while, but... I'll certainly see it in the comments. Let me know what you think of your nickname. Uh, Sonny is still the same. Huo, Rick, you know. Let me know what you think. Uh, brushy, Miles. That's how, literally, that's what you would be called in Australia if you were here. So, you know, if you ever visit, you probably actually, to be fair, like, people, uh, like, when you're visiting, no one's just going to call you that straight up. It's the people who get to know you. That's what they'll call you. They won't call you Miles, you know, or Chris. Probably Rick. You'd probably keep the name Rick. I said this in the last episode, I think, but... You'd probably keep that name, but I'd call you Huo or Huey. Probably Huey, even. Uh... Yeah, what do you think of your Australian nickname? Your honorary Australian nickname? You let me know. You sexy bastards. Now, it's pretty funny. Um, I never thought I'd have a far more majority North American audience than I do Australia. Uh, didn't expect that. But it's cool, man. I actually really like it. Um. Feels kind of exotic. You know what I mean? Yes. Alright, Kingy, here we go. We've got another load for you, mate. Keep your family warm. That's our job as blokes, isn't it? Oh, look at this cockhead. Hey! Hey! Fuck you, buddy. Here, get a whiff of that. <laughs> Breathe it in, asshole. I'm dropping shit off to Kingy. You fucking sit there and wait. I'm pointing. <laughs> I'm literally pointing at the screen. <laughs> pointing at the screen. Hey! You can fucking wait, boy. Let's get in. I keep going to this side of the door because... Don't know if you know this. We drive on this side of the road, so you always see me going to there. Sorry, all right. Ugh, there we go. Pull into uh, Huey's drive. Huey. Yeah. Pull into Rick's driveway. Back it up. I'm sure, you won't mind. Wave to Brushy over there. Brushy! You need a load of wood, mate? Next episode. It's coming right at you. Yes. Um. Bam! Let's get out. Cheers for your custom, mate. Kingy? Legend. See you next time, buddy. Have a good week at work. Uh. Oh, yeah. Keep an eye out for, uh. Uh, bloody. Uh fuel gauge for this old rig for us. Look, still got no fuel gauge. I don't know what's going on there. It says it's empty, but see if you can hook me up, mate. Cheers, brother. Let's get out of here. All right. I won't do a burn out in your front driveway, but I'll do it out here on the road. Woo! All right. <laughs> Just fish tails away. Hell yeah. All right, let's ride. Oh, all right, we're gonna head. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh! 
Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh, are you okay, Slubbies? Oh! 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 The good thing is, this is probably an excellent thumbnail. Oh! We've had a, we've had a, we've done ourselves a mischief, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to deal with this in the next episode. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, will see you then, if I can uh, uh, get all this broken glass off me and get out of here, shit. Looks like Kingy might be getting us a few more parts than just a fuel gauge, alrighty. We'll see you soon.